Hi everybody. Thank you for coming to my channel today. I wanted to do a flip through and a review of my new uh, crimson personal size Moterm in the Veg Tanned Crimson. And it feels like it took forever for this to get here. Um, on the very first Veg Tan release, I ordered a pocket in crimson because by the time I found out about this new line, that was the only thing left. I didn't or nor would I have ever believed that I would have loved a red planner because I typically always liked the neutrals and uh, things that, that would go with anything. I would have never believed I would have been crazy about a Christmas red, strawberry red planner, and yet, surprise, surprise, it is my favorite. I have planners in every color. Uh, yep, I pretty much think I have every color except for green, and this is my favorite. I actually made this sleeve for it, and unlike most sleeves that I've seen that are crocheted or made out of yarn, I actually made this out of cord. It's a very heavy cord. Um, I'm trying to show you how heavy it is. Uh, it's, it's very sturdy, and I wanted to use cord for just various reasons. Um, I throw this in my work tote, so I wanted something that would be hard to penetrate because I put my lunch in with it. And it is. This is very heavy duty. I have to really wedge my planner into this. Um, I actually bought the cord years ago, and I no longer can remember where I got it. It's on a big black spool with no markings. So unfortunately, I can't link that below. But um, I did not use a pattern, if anybody's curious. I just did one long chain, held it up to my planner, made sure I had about an inch on each side. And then when I made it long enough to wrap around the whole thing, I just crocheted the sides. And that was it. And it and I, I love it. It works perfect. And I use it to transport my planner to work every day in my work tote. So we'll move that aside. And let's just go ahead and take a look at the planner. Um, the lighting, I think, is showing you pretty accurately. It is as smooth. It's not as smooth as glass. There is some texture, but it still would qualify as a smooth, and it is utterly, a, it's, per, it's perfect. It's exactly what I was hoping it would be, and it is as red as my pocket. And who knew that I was going to fall in love with a red cover, but I did, and I can't imagine... I haven't switched out my pocket and I have many other colors and I just, there's nothing else I want to use other than this red. So let's just jump in. Um, I'll start here with my little charms. I, I've been using these throughout the fall. It is a little charm that says happy thoughts and a little two-tone acorn. Acorn's really heavy. It's solid and it's just dangling from a little beaded chain. I have a large jumbo ollie clip on the front. I clasp it on the tightest clasp and we'll just go straight into the inside. I have this leaf. I got this at To Do Papel and I have a 15% off coupon code. I will link below. I love this shop. She, they do amazing work. They always put little freebies in the package. I've never ordered from any planner decor company where I get them in two or three days. I, I don't know how they do it. 
um, this leaf, I'll link it below. It's like a metallic brown with like a mustard stitching and it's, it's so gorgeous. And I also got this glitter pumpkin. I, they're so affordable. I don't know how they can do such quality for so reasonable. They ship it fast. Um, they put nice little freebies inside. I just can't say enough about them. Um, I don't do any kind of collaboration. I buy my stuff I, just the same as anybody else. I just am a huge fan of, of their site. So, like I said, I will link that below. Um, this little die cut I made myself. I just went into Google Images and put... Um, fall coffee drinks and I just picked ones I liked and I printed them out on my Walgreens phone app and laminated it. This little bow, I've had this for a long time. I got it on Etsy years ago. I don't know what shop it was, so I can't link that, I'm sorry. Um, in here I just have some little stickers that are very fall and festive. I just keep those here. Here I have a Hobby Lobby card where I just keep little page flags stuck to it. And then behind that is my, this planner belongs to card in case God forbid I would ever lose it. Um, today I have the fly leaf in. I don't always use a fly leaf, but with this Lux, it's big enough that I can actually enjoy using it and still have a better pen loop. I don't care for the pen loop back here on the strap. I like it here. And even as fat as my planner is, I can still have the fly leaf and snap it on the tightest snap. So I'm really liking that. This is a calendar I made and laminated. Um, I have October on one side and November on the other. I just printed it off of Google and laminated it. Um, on the other side of this fly leaf, I just have this little happy fall, a picture of me and my hubby, and that's it. And then I have the dashboards that I made last month. Um, these go really nice with the red, and I did a previous flip where you can see these. There's just fall images. Here I have some note paper from City Girl Planners. I get this from Amazon and I will link it below. It's very thick paper. I almost feel guilty writing on it because I mean, it is really thick and gorgeous. And it wasn't even expensive. I just need to get over it and order some more. And I just keep some post-it notes on the front. Just um, quick to-do lists. And that's the very front. Then I have just a laminated sheet with my initial. And here's a picture of me and my hobby. And some Hobby Lobby paper. And then here is my monthly insert I get from Amazon. I will link that below. It also is very affordable. I buy the same one every year because I really like it. Um, here is... October this month. I just put some washi on it and some stickers. These are vintage Halloween stickers. I get them from Amazon. Um, everything, almost everything I get is from Amazon and I will link it all below. I love these vintage Halloween stickers with the washi. Um, this particular insert always gives you a recap of the previous month and then a sneak peek or a to-do for the upcoming month. So it's just so much extra room to decorate and make it look pretty. I haven't done much for November yet. I haven't done anything here. I don't want to get ahead of myself because I'm going to be doing a lot of Christmas here with holly and some vintage Christmas stickers. Things like that look from the 40s and 50s. Um, here is the month of December. This is just a photo of a little um, get-together I had last Christmas, and it was just very festive. I'm looking forward to doing it again this year. And then here is my dashboard that's 
covers my daily section. I had to look for a second. Um, I love this dashboard. This is a note from my mom, but I can't put all her personal information. Here is some beautiful sunflower paper from Hobby Lobby. This is my Final Facts Daily insert. I just have some hedgehog sticker post-it notes here. And I have some Halloween post-it notes. I can link those below. These are so cute. I got these from Amazon. Here's a picture of me and my hubby and it's my cover sheet for my daily. I made this bookmark and laminated it um, with Hobby Lobby craft paper. And this adorable little tag, when I ordered the um, clips from To Do Papel, this is just one of the little freebies that she put inside and it's so cute. Look how adorable. I just, I can't say enough about them. I'm not ordering anything from anybody but them. I think the thing I love the most is how fast I get it. And here are my dailies. I will flip through these real quick. Just show you what this, I will link this insert. It's one day, it's one page per day. I get it from Amazon, it's so cheap. And I get it every year, the same one. Gives me plenty of room to keep track of my schedule and still have some room to decorate with stickers and washi and I love this time of year. This washi I will link below. I got this from Amazon. It is, there was like uh, seven rolls maybe and every one of them are just so cute. I will link those below. You can tell I loved this green one. This green one was so festive. This is today. I haven't written anything down yet because actually I've been so busy I haven't had a chance to write anything. Um, here's a bookmark I made with Hobby Lobby paper. I just um, laminated it. And this actually was in another one of the To Do Papel Freebie little cards. I just cut it out and stuck it on there. So I'm gonna go back later this afternoon and fill in some things I need to do today and for tomorrow. Look at the washi, it's that same pack from Amazon. And then I don't have anything but little um, flags for future planning. I just use little post-it notes for things ahead of time. I don't really have much, nope, I don't have hardly anything. I do have a hair appointment, but I must not have written it down. So I have um, through November in here. And my next dashboard, look at those gorgeous shiny apples and the leaves. This is my tracker section. And the sweater and the coffee. Um, I just have a laminated sheet in front of it. This bow bookmark came from Erica, Erica's Crafts, I think. It came from here. Yes, there you go. That's where I got this. It's like um, a false um, bronze, rose gold holographic glitter. There you go, you can see that. And this first page is just a mood tracker for October. I just like to track my moods. I find a lot of times the only thing that makes me dip down is either lack of sleep or bad days at work. If I don't have that, either of those two issues, I'm usually right pretty even keel. Here is, that was September. I have November and December ready to go. Here is my nutritional tracker. The dots are good days and the squares are days where I wasn't as good. And I just try to keep it in check. That's about pretty much the way it goes. And then I have my food log. I got this from Puffin Pages. 
she has a lot of freebies, but then the ones, the printables are so cheap. I mean, I think if this wasn't a freebie, then I didn't pay more than $1.99 for it. And I really like it, so I have a bunch of these pre-printed and ready to go. I can just pop them in when I run out. I like the format. I think I have two more, two or three more weeks left, and then I'm going to put some more in. And then here's my next dashboard. I get all these images off of Google, and I just print them on my phone app. I love those cherries. And here is, um, I wanted to show my little Canon printer pictures. Uh, a friend of mine, Robin, told me about this printer and I was kind of hesitant. I had a sprocket, and I had it for years, and I loved it. I used it like crazy. And it finally, um, they discontinued the operating system. And even though the printer worked, the day that they, the, when, they when I did the one update, they no longer supported it, and I couldn't use it. I had to literally take a printer that worked perfectly and throw it in the garbage because they took down the OS. So I was hesitant to get another one because that really made me mad. And Rob and my friend told me about this Canon Ivy. And I had to think about it for a couple of days, but I ended up getting it. And it was the best decision. I will link this below. Not only is it half the price of what I paid for my sprocket three years ago, but it works, I, I think, better. The software, the app, works it's easier it's i would choose this over the sprocket at half the price like i said i'll link it below here are the pictures that i printed you can see how gorgeous there's a lot of modifications and add-ons you can add graphics and frames and all kind of stuff and the the quality is nicer than my sprocket and that's that's saying a lot so that's enough about that this is my journaling section, and I'm not gonna go through all that. I have, you know, write much paper in here. I write about a sheet every day. Um, here is my next dashboard. Love this. This is my list section, and here's the back view. Here are my, this is my perpetual calendar of special dates where I keep track of all special dates when I need to go out and get greeting cards and stuff like that. Here is a picture of Lucy. She's my baby. Here is my puppy health tracking where I keep records of their shots and such. Uh, here's a little die cut. Another Google image I printed out. Here is my habit tracker where I just keep track of things I do once a year or twice a year like mammos or oil changes or paying personal property tax, just things like that, where I can look it up here much faster than going through my checkbook or the bank um, website. Here is a printables that I laminated, just showing print sizing for all the different sizes of planners. Here is an expense tracker where I just write down my superfluous spending, my hobbies, stuff like that. I have a couple blank sheets. On the ready, here's a personal note from somebody that I laminated. Here is my YouTube list of videos as I upload them, keep track of my subscribers. Here is... Um, some personal information I can't show. Here is a list. Um, I loaded up my Amazon Prime um, watch list with a bunch of movies. I try to do this once in a while. I'll just go in and start looking for movies that I want to watch and just load them into my watch list. And so I printed them out so I can just have like a little library. And I just put a little tab on it saying movie night. And this is my car maintenance log. And this is our, our boat policy, so I don't have to go digging that out 
when I want to know certain information. Picture me and my hubby on the boat. And here's more boat information. Here's some medical information. My medical history. My prescription allergies. My dental history. My employment. You can see why my planner is so fat. All these post-it notes. When I take these out, it'll be a lot thinner. My salary. My phone plan, which I laminated so I know what I'm paying for. Um, my packing list. Gosh, I love this. I use this all the time. Um, another little sentimental note. This is my dog, Thor. He's a male yellow lab. He weighs 85 pounds, and he is a mess. Look at him. He looks like he's laughing. Picture my hubby took of me. Here's some laminated money, and I can link this below. This just makes me feel good. Makes me feel rich. Like Monopoly money. Here's my military ID. I have to cover that because it's got my social and a bunch of information. Here is my natal chart. Here are the list of my 12 zodiac houses. Here is another die cut from Google Images. This is a record of the full moons in this year. Here are some more notes, sentimental notes. This is um, something I keep for sentimental reasons. <laughs> Information about when I can retire. <laughs> Not that I don't think about it every day. I even wrote a list of things I want to do when I'm retired. It says I can get Medicare at 65. Things I want to do when I retire. I want to have morning coffee at McDonald's with all the other old people. I want to take a leisurely walk where I don't have to rush through the whole thing so I can get back home, jump in the shower, get ready, and pack my lunch and go to work. Just a leisurely walk. I want to check on my mom and dad. Clean the house during the day. I want to shop for groceries during the day and not carried after work. Food prep, that's something I'd love to do. I'd love to take a pottery class. I'd love to volunteer a couple hours. I'd love to just casually go to the gym in the middle of the day to lift weights or take yoga. I would love to just take a leisurely afternoon walk with the dog or read a good book. Or take a language class. That one I would love. I would love to take Italian. So those are just things that I would love to do when I retire. These are a couple extra sheets for things, lists going forward. Here is my next dashboard. This, I don't know what this is, but I know I would love to drink it. I love that. Pretty front door. And this, this dashboard covers my um, food, meals, grocery, all things food and nutrition. This is my grocery list. And I use this when I order groceries to make sure I don't forget. These are my staples. These are things I like to keep in the house. So I look at that before I place my order. Um, this is my dinner ideas. My weight log, my measurements, and then the rest of this are my goal photos. Pictures of me after I hit my goal, and I don't need to go through all of them, but they keep me reminded why I don't want to eat outside of my normal eating plan. Now this covers my work section and I can't go through this because this is all personal information on my boss who's the vice president and the staff that there's cell phone numbers and passwords and all kind of stuff I can't share. And then this is just my last page lifter to protect my pages. I love this picture. Back here I just have another one of those calendars that I printed from Google, that was the October one. Here is the November 
each month I just do the two months back to back and laminate it. And it's free and easy. I, I like to do as much of my own stuff as possible. Other than to do Patel and the affordable things I get from Amazon as far as my monthly and daily. Everything else I just do myself. I have some page flags on this little card and some post-it notes. Here's just an empty Hobby Lobby gift card. I use these to draw straight edges or stick post-it notes on. They're really good for that, for sticking page flags and post-it notes. And just a regular size Cheetah Ollie clip. Back here I just have a couple things. Just some pictures, nothing big. I don't have anything in the very last pocket. Then back here, I think I just have um, the card from that To Do Papel that I love, and I will link the coupon code below. I just keep that right there. And that is it. That is my big, fat, chunky planner. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, I love it when you say hi and comment below. If there's anything you want to know, please let me know and I'll be happy to get it for you. And I think that's about it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.